representing Pastor Apollo Kibuloy, we have Attorney Elvis Balayan. Then we have uh, with us online the witnesses, Ms. Uh, Elias Maya and Elias Joseph. Then from the DOJ, we have Senior State Counsel Mary Grace Cantana. So, Madam Chair, may I request all those who have not taken their oath during our last two hearings to please stand up, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. I, please state your name. Do solemnly swear that I will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to this committee. Thank you. You may now take your seat. Thank you very much, uh, dear resource person. Salamat, Comsec. Comsec, uh, I heard uh, acknowledge a representative, an attorney, but can you please state for the record the status of the subpoena served on Apollo Kiboloy? Madam Chair, the committee uh, sent a subpoena to Pastor Kiboloy, and he replied with this most uh, the motion, a most respectful and urgent request to set aside, recall the subpoena issued to Pastor Apollo C. Kiboloy. Uh, it was given to me by the representative, Attorney Balayan. Thank you, Comsec. So, friends, nagpadala nga po sa aking tanggapan ng sulat galing sa abogado ni Mr. Kiboloy stating, and I quote a short portion, compelling, quote, compelling Pastor Kiboloy to appear before a committee that already pronounced him guilty would be violative of his constitutional right against self-incrimination and to be proven, presumed innocent unless proven guilty, close quote. If we allow witnesses of the Senate to simply claim that appearing before a committee would violate his or her constitutional right to be presumed innocent and his or her right against self-incrimination, wala na pong kapangyarihan ang ating Senado maglunsad ng mga investigasyon. Madaling-madali na lang umiwas sa mga hearing ng Blue Ribbon, sa mga tiwaling opisyal, sa mga investigasyon ng Public Order Committee, sa mga sangkot sa mga krimen. Hindi po obra ang ganitong mga excuse. To pursue one to Section 18 of the Rules of the Senate, as Chair of the Committee, and with the concurrence of one member here with me, I cite in contempt Apollo Carreon Kiboloy for his refusal to be sworn or to testify before this investigation. This committee requests the Senate President to order his arrest so that he may be brought to testify. I so move. So, ngayon po, ay pakinggan na po natin ang dalawa nating mga witnesses.